It's Tipster Friday! Woo! This week, I have something special in store for you. Letterpress Photoshop Tutorial I'm going to teach you how to create this sweet vintage letterpress effect in Photoshop. Check it out. This text effect imitates the look of letterpress printing and gives a super professional feel to your design projects. The best thing about it, it's way easy. You don't even have to be a Photoshop expert like me to do it. All right, let's get started. In Photoshop, begin by creating a new file. Make it 2300 by 1200 pixels. Hit OK. With your file open, start by dropping in a paper texture you want to use. I found that a natural looking paper with lots of fibers works best for this effect. This already looks great, but I think we can spice the texture up a bit. With the paper layer selected, go to Filter, Render, then Lighting Effects. With this window open, make sure Spot is selected. Now, arrange the light so it appears as if it's shining from above the composition. Drag out the outer control so it creates a nice, soft gradient. Since this is a paper texture, go over to your gloss control and set it to negative 100 to create a matte finish. Finally, to add a little extra dimension to the texture, change the texture channel from none to red. Click OK. All right, now let's work on the text. I'll be using a free font called Arizona. Feel free to experiment with different typefaces and come up with something original. For the text color, choose something similar to the darker portion of the paper texture. Now change the blending mode to multiply. Here's where we really create the pressed look. With the text layer selected, go to Effects and click Bevel and Emboss. Here, select the outer bevel so that the impression is on the outside of the text. Set the direction to down, then move the angle so that it matches your light source. Now change the highlight mode to overlay. Next, click the inner shadow. Here, set the angle to 90 degrees. Now adjust the distance, size, and opacity so that it creates a soft, realistic shadow. Click OK. For this example, I decided to add a second text layer using a fun font called Chevalier. You can easily apply the text effect again by right-clicking and selecting Copy Layer Style, then pasting the layer style onto the new text layer. Alright, one last step. We want to really make the texture pop on this composition. To do this, duplicate the paper layer by clicking Command or Control J. Move the new layer to the top and change the blending mode to soft light. Bam! Look at that texture. So nice. Now wasn't that easy? And it looks awesome too. I would love to see what you created with this effect. Link your letterpress project in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe. Every week, I'll have a new tip on graphic design just for you. See you next week.